Hello, in this tutorial we are going to render volumetric light in Arnold and Mental Ray. Let's start with Mental Ray. I'm going to create a basic scene with one spotlight. I'm going to position it. So I'm going to create a sphere and a plane. We need to create a, a box to contain our volumetric light. Let's create a cube. We need to assign a simple shader to it, but we are not going to see this cube in the render. So go to shading group and material shader, assign a transmat. Transmat is like a black hole. And to the volume shader of the shading group, we need to add a party spating media volume shader. So then, f for your light, you can into you can plug physical light in into your color slot so if you render this you'll see volumetric light in the render uh, the box is important if your camera is, is inside the box you have to uh, activate auto volume feature in matte ray settings it's in the features tab under the extra features you have to click auto volume if you render from your camera it's not going to render volumetric light if you turned off auto volume here's the difference so the color uh, depends on your the participation media volume scatter color if you make it green it's gonna render uh, green volumetric light extinction is how the uh, how, how much of the light is going to absorb if you increase the extinction uh, it's gonna decrease the intensity of the volumetric light for our G1 and G2 attributes you can uh, check the documents it, uh, it creates different uh, effect on the volumetric light there are some predefined uh, values you can play with them it's uh, m uh, more or less about uh, uh, volumetric model volumetric light model here's one sample it affects the sphere non-uniform non is the giving a noise to the volumetric light uh, minimum and maximum step length is all about the quality of the volumetric light in your render it's also if you increase your anti-aliasing and ray tracing settings it's also affect the quality the mode when it's zero is it's going to show us uh, the volumetric light but in the one uh, it's not going to show volumetric light in render just the uh, diffuse effect of light let's uh, have a look at the uh, Arnold volumetric lights it's quite easy let's prepare another basic scene for this let's create a spotlight again in Arnold you have to do very simple thing to activate volumetric light just in your render settings in the Arnold render tab in environment for the b uh, atmosphere you have to create AI volume, volume scattering then play with the density and see the result it's much more easier than manta ray but I realized that the volumetric light uh, results is better at manta ray in my opinion you can uh, place some blockers in front of the light to create 
smooth edges or you can use some uh, filters like Gova to cut your light in the AI's volume scattering uh, attributes there are some uh, color attributes and samples that uh, increase your quality attenuation is how far the light go goes of course the uh, color is the color of your volumetric light if you have more than one light in your scene you can uh, disable cast volumetric shadow in your uh, light to disable volumetric shadows or you can untick affect volumetrics so that's that's all thank you for watching